Hey guys, it's PC Master Dave over here with a tutorial on how to compress uh, PlayStation ROMs. Okay, so basically a PlayStation ROM file generally comes in the shape of a CD image files. And there are different CD image files uh, around and there are different types of compression uh, that these files can have. So uh, just to begin please enable the um, the file um, please enable an option in windows that shows you the file type of the file you're watching so for example in here i can see that this one is a 7zip this one is a zip and this one is a rar um, so that's key you need to see the file extensions um, okay so i picked these three rumps because they present three different scenarios so for example silent bomber which is one of my favorite playstation games silent bomber silent bomber comes as a q and a beam file apocalypse comes as a folder and inside it has different tracks sometimes you can have uh one track sometimes you can have 13 tracks seven tracks five tracks um it doesn't matter it's the same so i brought this one it presents two tracks and a Q file. And Baldi's, it comes to folder, and this one is not a bin file, and it doesn't even have a Q file. It has a CCD, an IMG, and a sub file. So it's way different, but basically it's a CD image file, what we're dealing with. Okay, so for starters, you need two programs installed in your computer. The first one is Daemon Tools, uh, or Demon Tools. Uh, Demon Tools enables you to mount a CD image into your computer uh, pretending to be a virtual drive. So uh, basically what D uh, Demon Tools do, uh, does is it takes one of these files and mounts it um, in a virtual drive so that Windows things that you just inserted a CD into a drive. But basically we're doing that uh, virtually. And the second tool is IMG Burn. IMG Burn is a tool that allows you to take the data from a drive and transform it into an ISO file, an ISO file. So, um, so it, it it's like uh, IMG Burn in this whole equation is like the bridge that it's going to connect um, our CD image file mounted on Daemon Tools. And it's going to allow us to transform that file into, or that set of files, into uh, just two files, a Q and a BIM file. Uh, so that it's easier and it's correct. Uh, in the way that we present those files into PX, PSX to PSP. So let's get started. I'm going to start with Silent Bomber, which is the easiest of the three. It's compressed as a 7-zip. I'm going to extract uh, the files into a folder called Silent Bomber. Um, okay, I'm uncompressing these files. Perfect. And here I have a folder called Silent Bomber. Into a folder, we have like the easiest scenario, which is just a bin and a Q file. Basically, a Q file, if you open a Q, uh, the Q file with Notepad, you can see that it's just um, like, um, it's basically a file that is that has some information on what to load. So the Q file is, saying basically load silent bomber europe dot bin and with these parameters so that's basically the q file uh, now i'm going to take um or well basically with silent bomber i do not need demon tools because i already have the bin file which is the one that i need for psx to psp so I'm going to open PSX to PSP and I'm going to select on my desktop uh, folder silent bomber. He only sees the bin file. He's not uh, seeing the Q file. 
I open this one and as you can see it's loading uh, several information about this game the title the main title and the ID uh, the ID is very important because it lets you know in which region this game was released uh, and I'm going to talk about this in another video uh, there are different regions for example SLUS is America and if I'm correct SLES is Europe but I'm gonna talk about that in another video so this is a code it's important that the game uh, uh, for P PSX to PSP um, I'm sorry it's important that the game has this information because if you delete or if PSX to PSP is not detecting the game ID is not going to export um, it's not going to export the file okay so I'm going to select desktop as the output folder perfect and I'm gonna convert this starts a process where PSX to PSP is converting this bin file the bin file that's inside the folder into a PVP file which is a file that is read by the PSP but also it's read by EPSXE which is the I mean, it's like one of the main PlayStation emulators so okay it, it's done let's um, compare the beam file was 374 megs the PVP file it's 199 so that's a lot of compression when you're thinking about you know reducing your collection or if you're playing um, uh, in an Android device it's very important to compress these files so I'm gonna do the following I always take Silent Bomber the name and I'm gonna paste it on the PVP um, I have found out that this is not uh, affecting the emulation in any way well as far as I know uh, okay let's give it a try so we have our PVP now that is just one in 199 megs I'm going to open P uh, EPSXE and I'm going to run an ISO file I'm going to select the PVP okay and there you go it loaded okay so our ROM is running as a PVP on this uh, PSX simulator very well okay I'm going to press escape and uh, we're gonna go to our second scenario I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna close this okay so second scenario is um, zip file or, or just uh, any compressed file that 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 comes with different tracks and a Q file so I'm going to uncompress I'm going to extract uh, apocalypse to a folder called apocalypse here it is and I have two tracks and a Q file. The Q file is the same. Let me show it to you. In the notepad, it has the informa information about what to load. So as you can see, because this game has two tracks, the Q file is going to tell um, the emulator or the, or the console to load this track in this moment and this track in this moment, or this track with these parameters and this track with these parameters. I'm not a specialist in Q files, but I'm guessing that this information is important uh, so the game can know what to load. But in this uh, particular example, we need all these files just in a Q and a BIM file or an ISO file. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. With Demon Tools, I'm going to double click Apocalypse. What this is going to do is that this is going to load this whole CD, uh, quote unquote CD, in our virtual, virtual drive. Uh, basically, you can do it also manually here in mount, 
uh, as you can see, I can go to desktop and I can go to Apocalypse and I can mount with the Q file. See, yes, there you go, I did it manually. So if I right click here, virtual devices, you can see I have a D drive with, uh, with Apocalypse. Uh, okay, I'm gonna unmount all drives and I'm gonna do it the easy way. Just double click Apocalypse.Q and there you go, it's mounted. Right click, virtual device. As you can see, I have an F drive where the game is mounted. Uh, I also want you to notice that Apocalypse, uh, this game in particular, or this CD image file, has no name. So that's why uh, you can see the letter of the drive, but there's no name in it. Okay, I'm gonna open IMG Burn, and I'm going to select the option Create Image File from Disk. Now I'm gonna select the virtual drive that has my game. Remember D was the one that I created before, doing an example. Right now it has nothing. And F is uh, the virtual drive that has our game mounted. So I'm going to select F. I'm going to select the folder, select the desktop. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it APOC. Save. And I'm gonna start the process. Uh, as you can see, it's very straightforward, it's very fast. Okay, it ended. I'm gonna hit OK. And as you can see, this is what IMG Burn uh, exported. A cube and a beam file. But now we have only one beam file, not two, as you can see here that we had originally. So now I can process this through PSX to PSP. I'm going to open PSX to PSP and I'm going to select um, APOC, open, and this is very good. As you can see, when we mounted the image, it had no name, but this is what we need. Uh, we need PSX to PSP detecting the name of the game and the code of the, of the game. So I'm going to hit convert. It's starting to compress uh, our CD image file. Here it is. And here's the one that is uh, exporting PSX to PSP. I'm gonna, okay, uh, that was fast. And I'm gonna do what I do always uh, to catalog these games. Just change the name and here I have apocalypse.pvp. Let's, let's make a comparison. This folder initially was 469 megs. This one is 468 megs, very similar. And the PVP file is 243 megs. So that's very, very good. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna open EPSXE. I'm gonna run an ISO file. Uh, here, you see it, Apocalypse. I'm gonna open it. It's loading. And there you go. It works. I'm going to I'm just pressing the C key. Okay, and there you go. Uh very well. I'm going to press escape. It works. Okay, <laughs> let me delete all these files. Okay, in this moment, for example, this is some, something that, that always happens. You can't delete apocalypse.pvp because it's opened on it's opened on the PSX to PSP. Okay, and you can delete... Um, I'm going to close this one. Okay, now it, and it was also open on the PlayStation emulator. Okay, perfect. Now let's go, I'm gonna also delete this file. Okay, I cannot delete this one because it's mounted right now on the computer. So I gotta right click on Demon Tools, Virtual Devices, and mount all drives. Uh, generally what I like to do is just remove all drives because the free version of Demon Tools only allows you to have four drives at a time. So uh, I'm just used to removing all drives and then just deleting the files once I've saved the PVP file. 
Okay, let's go with the third scenario, uh, Baldis. Baldis comes in a folder, and this is a different type of CD image file. So I'm going to extract Baldis. You can use 7-zip, you can use WinRAR, you can use a PZIP. I'm going to be doing also a video on different types of compression uh, to see what which one is better. Okay, um, here I have my Baldis folder, and this one, as you can see, has three different types of uh, extension, CCD, IMG, .sub. Uh, this one is 400 max plus, this one is 16 max plus, and this one is 3, 3 kilobytes. So I ge I'm guessing this is the, like what is, uh, what the Q file uh, is for these two games is the CCD file. I'm just gonna open it with, uh, with Notepad to see if I can read something. Okay, yes, there's a lot of information even more information than a Q file, but basically, as you can see, it's just reading tracks and uh, yeah, it's just a lot of information that's relevant uh, to a CD or a, or a console. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click the CCD file. That's gonna mount, it. the Demon Tools is gonna mount it. As you can see, here in my drive, uh, it mounted the CD. I can even go in and I can see the folders as if I am watching the folders inside a real CD or the real Baldi CD. But right now it's just a, a virtual CD in a virtual drive. Um, what I like is that the drive uh, name uh, is the name, is the code of the game, uh, the ID of the game. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, okay, it's now mounted. I'm going to go to IMG Burn. I'm going to create create an image file from a disk. Um, okay, it's the only drive, the D drive, because I deleted the rest and then I mounted new image. And I'm going to export it to desktop with that name. I don't have to uh, put any other name. Oh, I also want to show you that you can uh, export this as a bin, IMG, or an ISO file, which, I mean, PSX to PSP, if you can see here, um, it supports ISOs, IMGs, BINs, and PVPs. So any file, it's okay. I'm more used just to export as a BIM file. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna export. It's reading the CD, or quote unquote CD, because it's virtual. Okay, it ends the process. As you can see, it exports these two files and I'm going to, okay, just let's see, bold is the folder, 414 megs. These two files are 398, okay, there was a little bit of compression. I'm going to open IMG Burn. Oh, sorry, I'm going to open PSX to PSP. I'm going to select the beam file, this one, that we just exported using IMG Burn. And good news, it has the title and it has the ID. I'm going to click on Convert and it starts the compression process. Okay, we're halfway there. It's almost gonna finish. Okay, and the final PVP is 213 max. So that's very good having in mind that the original was 414 max, 414 max, and this one is 213 max. I'm gonna select the name. I'm going to change the name of this PVP and let's give it a try. Let's open the emulator, run ISO. Here you go, Baldi's PVP, open. It's loading. And the game just works. Okay, not duck. Now I get to the main menu. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't know the default configuration for the EPSXE emulator for the start button. Okay, but I'm going to. Oh, sorry.
to close. I'm going to open again. There we go. Input port one. Okay, so start select CV. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let's give it another try because I want you, I want to show you the game running. Remember, the emulator is loading this PVP file which is compressed and as you can see um, this PlayStation emulator is able to run files that have this file format which um, if I'm not wrong it's a PSP format. It's working. Okay, very good. So that's basically the tutorial that I wanted to do. Um, always remember, if a particular game has 2, 3, 5, 10, 13, 20 tracks, is the same thing. You just export um, the folder like this. You then mount this CD with using the Q file. Double click, for example. Okay, it's mounted. As you can see in the F drive, it doesn't matter if it, if it has 13 tracks. And then you go to IMG Burn and create an image file from that disk. For example, in this one, Apocalypse is the F drive. You give it a name save and then you start reading that drive and as you can see it has a bin file here and at the end it exports a Q file so it doesn't matter if this has 20 tracks we need only these two files and you're gonna get only these two files which basically well we, we just need the bin file that's the one that reads PSX to PSP Okay, thank you very much. That's basically it. If you like this tutorial, if you want more tutorials regarding ROMs, emulation, uh, so on and so forth, follow me on Twitter, uh, follow me on, on YouTube, and I'm also gonna place uh, a link to my Discord uh, server. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm happy to, to help. So thank you very much, and that's it.